We are going to be doing a quick challenge video. Well, not a challenge video, but like a battle against video. Best drugstore concealer, acne coverage, basically. 2019. <laughs> so I have five concealers with me. I got these all just because I heard that all of them were soupy, super, <laughs> soupy, and super heavy duty coverage because there's a bunch of camouflage concealers, 24 hour concealers, 16 hour wear concealers, long wear concealers, all those claims basically all these concealers have. So that's why I chose these ones. I felt like these would uh, be the most promising when it came to acne coverage. So we're just going to get right into it. I'll go in with my brush and then we're gonna sheer it out with a beauty blender this is super wet just to make sure if it will actually stand the test of time of being sheared out and still being able to cover well so yeah that's gonna be my way of doing it I don't know if it's the right way but we're just gonna go with it because it made the most sense to me just in case if any of you do want to end up using a beauty blender or if it potentially will maybe look a bit more natural when you use a beauty blender especially when you have like dry patchy skin you know covering your acne is not the funnest of course so obviously make sure you moisturize a lot when you cover up dry flaky acne because that's probably the most hardest acne to cover so this is the essence camouflage concealer I'll also put a picture here if you uh you know want to know what it looks like up close also since i'm not going to know for sure my favorite concealer because i won't be able to remember the finishes most likely on every single one my editing self will actually put the two side by side of my favorite concealer I think these concealers are specifically meant for under my eyes and I personally love a brighter eye when I put my concealers on my face They're obviously gonna come out way way lighter than I normally would use a concealer on my face as but for those heavy-duty days Concealer not be a bad idea. So I'll bring you in closer. Oh my gosh, and this stuff is looking crazy Okay, so we're just gonna dot it. I don't know few swipes <laughs> you could totally use your concealer as a foundation as well there's nothing wrong with that I just put a few swipes just because literally everything is problem area for me and let's be real I would save time in the morning just by using this as foundation oh my oh wow this actually like instantly covers it up holy crap that's really good let's sheer it out a bit more all the redness is gone the only thing I'm concerned about acne is when you cover your acne pimples, it kind of turns gray, like I'm seeing that a bit on that with that concealer. <laughs> and then we're just gonna blend this all out, like sheer it out with this brush. So what I did, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do that with the rest of the concealers. Like, it gets rid of the discoloration right away, I can tell. The only thing, again, I would say, again, your acne could turn a bit gray looking. I'm gonna take my little brush now and be more specific. That is what it is looking like. You still obviously see the texture peeking through. I'm not gonna cover my whole face with the concealer. We're just gonna do like a section here for everything. Do here too, why not? So we're doing at least like one side of my face. Yeah, so this definitely gets rid of discoloration. But again, I will say that it does make my acne look a bit gray. I don't know if that could possibly have something to do with the color I chose. This is not like crazy off of my normal skin tone if I was not wearing fake tan. Sheer it out a bit with the beauty blender. Make it look a bit more natural. Okay, so far it doesn't look like anything's budging. Well, it did say it was waterproof, so I mean... <laughs> If this does come off, I would be very shocked. I actually think using a beauty blender made the finish look so much more natural. I actually really enjoy it with the beauty blender. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is what it is looking like. Make your final judgments here. Uh, and yeah, I will do the next concealer. Okay, I just washed that one off. So now we are going to try e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer and I think this actually I'm scared because this is the palest <laughs> concealer I own So this is my skin again We're just gonna base it off of how it looks like in the end and we can uh, compare the two side by side So do dot here dot here and then I did again this whole thing is a situation for me one two three four five Holy crap <sighs> Okay, so if you want to cover your pimples, holy crap, this is actually really good. Okay, 
this is what I actually like about it. I don't necessarily like it under my eyes, but it looks really good on the skin. Like it looks really good on the face. <laughs> Not under my eye area though. Cause this, it doesn't even seem to be like graying out any acne, which is awesome. Full out coverage. I feel like this would be super, super good for acne coverage for sure. Like, whoa. <laughs> If I got my right skin tone, <laughs> this would actually look really good and I would compare it to almost maybe my Marc Jacobs foundation. We're gonna do a couple more dots. Begin, be more specific. Oh yeah, this is so good for like spot concealing as well because it like just does not budge. That is amazing. My other makeup review I did, I don't know why, I just didn't really like the camel concealer under my eyes. So I'm gonna have to buy this like, but in my actual skin shade because this is obviously way too pale. <laughs> I could see this being very, very good. Again, you can see like a bit of grayness with the acne, but it's not as much, I don't think. That's also just because it's just a thicker concealer in general. This is what it looks like from up close. Close. There is a bit of crack in here, but that's just because of my acne. But the only risk that you will be taking though if you do use this foundation is that I did a thicker layer here and you can see the patchiness build up like it can like differentiate itself. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but like you could see exactly where you put a second layer. So you have to be very, very careful. If anything, I would just do one thin layer with it and that's it because yeah, any more than that, I feel like, again, it would be super, super visible and people will obviously be able to tell that you're wearing concealer, especially if you don't get the right shade. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd say it covers pretty much, now that I'm looking at it, it covers pretty much the same as the Essence one. It's just, again, it's a bit more heavy duty, so it's gonna be a bit more thicker, not gray, out my acne too too much but there still is a bit of grayness <laughs> really nothing too bad to say about any of them kind of expected this oh yeah and then the beauty blender i gotta shoot it out yeah i feel like with these heavy duty concealers honestly they look so much better sheared out with the beauty blender the elf concealer does dry down pretty fast so this one section i did look with really heavy concealer it's not shearing out with the beauty blender so just keep that in mind the first second you place down this concealer you have to blend it out right away or else it's going to dry very patchy yep that was just kind of my mistake though i did nothing against the concealer this is it we will compare the other two side by side even though oh man it would be so much better if i had my own shade but this works it still works the same okay so the next concealer we will be trying is the covergirl undercover true blend concealer so we're just gonna go in with it right away everything make sure it's dry just been using a moisturizer every single time though so again it's not gonna be patchy so i can give these concealers the best chance one two three four five oh yeah i guess i did up here too <laughs> okay and this out Ooh. Okay, so far I'm liking the coverage on that. I'm just gonna blend everything out here. Ooh, I'm really liking the coverage on this concealer. I would say so far this looks the most natural out of all of them, I'd say. Cause again, it's not like heavy duty. It's heavy duty enough that it'll like get the job done, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I really like this concealer. I feel like with all the concealer, it's kind of like the same thing. You do get like some grayness. See if I can kind of mask, or like grayness, but also like purpley-ness when you cover up your skin with concealer. Maybe you could try doing a color corrector below the concealer. The only reason why I don't do that is because I would have to color correct literally my whole face. <laughs> I don't think I can be bothered to do that. But if you have the time, I mean, I don't think it'll hurt if you just color correct it. I'm just gonna sheer it out. Yeah, I really like the finish. It doesn't look dry. I would still compare this pretty similar and identical to the other two I just tested. Again, all these concealers are like pretty identical, but again, we'll put a side by side through my editing skills <laughs> and see which one will actually look good. But yeah, that's what it is looking sheared out. Okay, okay, so we're going to be trying the Manani Conceal and Perfect now. Just gonna make sure that everything is soaked in. I love the packaging the most on this, like so fancy looking. Anyway, what matters is the product. So we're just gonna do a couple dots 
here. And one, two, three, four, five, and then a couple here. Not as much product came off, so this is very forgiving when it comes to product. I won't like just give it all to you at once. <laughs> so we're gonna share it out again with this. Every time I'm washing my face, some of my dry patches come off, so then they result to like this. They look kind of like holy almost, which is kind of nasty. <laughs> that is just my own fault right there. Other than that, the coverage around looks very, very good. We're just gonna blend out this. Woo! Hi, I'm really liking this concealer too. I feel like all of them are so good. This one's like really good though. This is such a natural finish as well. Like it's almost satin, like very moisturizing. It's still matte though. Like it's definitely still matte. It's just like a very natural matte. Okay, and then we're just gonna have to avoid these because like my dry patches, they literally just like came off. But anyway, that doesn't really matter. That literally will happen with any single concealer you use if your skin is not like, you know, the best texture. Still get slightly, slightly grayness and that purpliness cast you get usually when you apply a concealer. But overall, the actual coverage again, it gets rid of all of the discoloration. Again, I could say that about pretty much every single concealer. And we'll probably have to avoid this area because washing your face repeated times is not the greatest, but I'm doing it for you all, doing it for the video. Really, really like this concealer though overall. Very, very good to put all these concealers in one video because honestly, all these concealers are amazing. We're going to blend these out. Yeah, if you're looking for heavy duty concealer, I feel like literally any single concealer in this video will most likely be your best bet. And all of them look really, really good shared out as well. So that's really nice. Like they don't break up and they don't show any of the other color or discoloration. It literally just shears it out and makes it look way more natural. I'm really liking this one. I will go in with my final and last concealer and we will do the final verdict. Loppily moisturizing my face. NYX can't stop, won't stop concealer. This will be the last one. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that was kind of a light hand. So again, we'll start with the little one. This are like my big pimples. Oh, this is a really nice coverage. Again, you have to ignore the patchiness there because again, my dead skin literally just fell off. <laughs> that sounds so disgusting because it is. But that's the truth. That's the acne life right there. Like not showing any grayness. Okay, wait, I might be going crazy. We'll blend this out and see if there's any grayness showing through. Huh, interesting. This might be the concealer that like shows the least amount of grayness. I'm thinking it might be because it has a slightly yellowish undertone and I feel like if you color corrected your red skin with yellow, to be honest, it's going to cancel out that grayness. I think usually people will color correct red pimples, they'll color correct it with green, but all that does is just make your skin turn gray because it literally cancels out, right? So it turns gray. So it's like, why would you want that? So I don't know, I feel like personally, if you do like a yellowish undertone, like a yellow color corrector, which usually, like I don't know how that makes sense. I always tend to notice when I have a more yellow undertone with my foundations or concealers, it cancels out the most grayness. Um, so this is what it is up close. But yeah, shearing it out even more though. I mean, there's still gonna be some grayness though, but <laughs> this looks so nasty. This is what this concealer looks like. I like kind of forgot to blend this stuff, so I'll just go over that. This is what it looks like. Now once it's setting in, you can kind of see the grayness peek through, the purpliness peek through. Okay, so again, I'm gonna forget how all these concealers looked after my skin So we're going to again do a little comparison with them all I could see myself really liking is the Milani Concealer Perfect Surprisingly Milani, the cover girl and the elf. I don't know this one also covers really well I don't know all of them are so so similar So honestly, it's up to you guys what you guys want to choose because at the end of the day I feel like all these you can't go wrong again I bought these specifically because they were all meant to be long-lasting full coverage even waterproof some of them You really can't go wrong with any of them I feel like in my opinion like the best of the best type of concealing coverage Hope you enjoyed and got a little bit more insight on what concealer might work for you I'll link them all down below of course and yeah I'm honestly very happy with all of the concealers I got I think I could see myself using all of them that is my challenge with the concealer and I hope you all found this informative please subscribe if you want to see more of me I post every Sunday and Thursday uh, and yeah <laughs> I look so weird I'm gonna have to wash my face and actually go to school now because I'm gonna be rushing right now <laughs> so yeah I'll see you in the next video peace